Okay, so um, I have decided to make an end of year video just to look at how things have been on this channel. So this, what I'm going to talk about, will apply to both of my channels. So I've got two channels: the Keith Rins and the Keith Zambia. Uh, so as we know, as YouTubers in Zambia, we are not able to make money from Zambian views unless other people from other countries watch our views. But the thing is, more than 90% of views are Zambians, so therefore I make nothing. So, when I first began creating content, my goal was just to share or teach whatever I know to people. Okay? By then, making money was possible, but later on, the monetization part was removed. Okay? I got discouraged, but again, I remembered why i started creating content in the first place so from then i've continued making content awesome content that you can't find anywhere and actually i'm the best content creator when it comes to things to do with actually making money there's no one who's doing what i do so on keith Rains, as of now the channel has got like thirty thousand subscribers the keith zambia has got like fifteen thousand subscribers which is very good, but the views are very low. So the thing is, I'm not even really focusing about the views and the subscribers because I know that if I work hard to go the channel, I'm not making any money. But either way, I've continued to do what I do best, which is creating content to teach other people. Okay, so I think next year, um, yeah, creating content is going to continue. Okay, I'm always learning new things. I'm always researching new things. I'm always having sleepless nights, just trying to learn new things. Okay, things that can actually help me and you. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, the channel will continue uh, growing. Okay, I'll continue publishing content. Yeah. Continue publishing content. And I think this is it. So, yeah think so to end the video all I, all I want to say is thank you for the support no i don't think i have to thank you for the support because actually you the viewers are the ones who are actually supposed to thank me so here's the thing is i'm not trying to be boastful or not boastful or egoistic the thing is the type of content that I create, I don't create comedy stuff whereby if someone watches you, they're actually giving me a favor. No. The type of content is content that is even better than the stuff you learn at school. Because what I teach, I teach stuff whereby if you learn today, tomorrow they'll help you actually make money. So, this is why I'm saying like, I don't want to say thank you for watching my videos. I don't want to say thank you for subscribing because you are the ones, you people need to thank me. Okay. If you did not know, my content has really helped a lot of Zambians, okay, really make money. I know people are making thousands of dollars through my help. I know people are actually making thousands of kwacha through my videos. I know a lot of people that are actually successful because of the content. In fact, the funny part is that some of the people I've actually taught are actually making more money than I make, okay? But I shouldn't feel jealous, actually, I should be happy because that's what this channel is all about and this is what i've been trying to do so i'm keith rins and yeah i'm different from other people so as for me i decided to take a different route like a route whereby i don't have to go to school get a uh, get a degree get employed okay work for someone uh so as for me i've decided to be unique and be my own boss so i've survived okay i've survived by simply making money online i don't have i don't have any physical business and the thing about making money online like it's very different from other countries here in zambia it's hard first of all there's no monetization for content which means that i have to uh have to watch this i have to focus on forex trading crypto trading uh selling my services selling whatever i can sell yeah basically that's it so yeah it's really tough online so if you see someone so if you see someone like who is successful okay and he's a content creator or it just depends on money by making money online i think you really need to thank those people because it's not easy yeah it's not really easy in zambia to be successful okay by simply trying to make money online like 
a lot of opportunities don't apply to people like in Africa. So it's really hard. So this is why like if you want to succeed online, especially in Zambia by having online businesses, is that you don't have to focus on one business alone. So I have survived this long. Uh, yeah, I've survived this long uh, because I don't focus on one source of income. So when I started this channel, okay, I used to invest almost all of my time creating content, editing. Okay, I spent almost three years just focusing on the channel, buying equipment, buying better phones, just trying to create content. And later on, the monetization was removed. Okay, now. Let's think about it. When the monetization was removed, of course, I would have gone broke. Yeah. Okay. I would have gone back to start staying with my parents. Okay. I would have sold my stuff I had because what I was depending on died. Okay. But the good thing is that I was smart. When I started making money, okay, the thing is, I always, I always have a backup plan. Like, what if this thing fails? What's going to happen? What if this fails? What's going to happen? So this is why you need at least five sources of income. It doesn't matter how you make money. If you make money online, have at least five sources of income. If you've got a business, okay, have other businesses, like five of them. So just in case one fails, go to the other. Okay, if this one fails, go to the other. So I've survived this long by doing a lot of stuff. So I do anything where I know that it will give me money. Of course, apart from illegal stuff. So this is why, like, um, if you came to me and asked me, like, Keith, who are you? What do you do? So the thing is, I might fail to answer you because, honestly, like, I don't even know who I am because I do a lot of things. Okay, I do forex trading. Okay, crypto trading. I do some content creation. Okay, I do some graphic designing. Uh, I provide consult consult uh, consulting services. Okay, I teach people. Uh, what do I do? Okay, I sell my services on Fiverr. I program softwares. I make websites. I make apps. Okay, I know a lot of things. Some of them which I've even forgotten right now. Like, I do a lot of things as long as I know that this skill can give me money. So, I know a lot of stuff and I can do almost anything that involves, like, making money. Yeah. So... And this is what I've been trying to teach you guys on this channel. So, on this channel, like, there are a lot of different types of videos, like, we making money, such that if you start watching all the videos, you'd get confused because today I might talk about PayPal, tomorrow I might talk about Bitcoin, tomorrow I might talk about having a physical business, tomorrow I might talk about this and this, just like that. So, yes, because right now, things in Zambia are tough and... To survive with this bad economy, like you really need to think ahead, you really need to, yeah, you really need to plan ahead, and yeah, it's a life of the fittest, like you really need to be, yeah. So, I guess, I guess this is it, okay. So, I guess this is the end of your video. Uh, I'm not planning of today, is actually. Uh, 14th December yeah 14th December and yeah so there's two like three more weeks for the three more weeks for the month to end so these three more weeks which are remaining okay I'll try to rest some because I've been working day and night for example for the past two weeks I haven't really been sleeping been sleeping like in the morning from 6 to 10 then I continue with my stuff. Then again, I work all night trying to learn new things and research things. Yeah. So for these remaining weeks, I think I should try to focus on the past. Okay, what went wrong? What I need to work on? Okay, the type of content I should create next year. Uh, maybe new goals. Okay, by the way, I'm happy to announce that uh, I've achieved... Almost, not almost, but I'm happy to announce that I've achieved what I wrote last year that I wanted to achieve this year. So I've achieved all the goals, which is really good. Okay, I can't even believe it myself. Like everything I wanted, I've achieved. I've achieved it this year. You know, do you know what's fun actually? Uh, 
I think six years ago. Okay, when I just finished my grade twelve, I was like, if I was able to make at least a one thousand or two thousand kwacha per month, I think that would be okay. Now the thing is, as of now I'm making, I don't know maybe it's four or five or ten times that, but it's not enough. The thing is, so here's some advice before I end the video. Like when it comes to money, money is never enough. So the more money you make, the more expensive your problems are going to be. So for example, if you're making one thousand quarter per month, maybe even the problems you're going to be having will be costing you like one thousand. So for example, at that time I was being kept by my parents. So if you're being kept by your parents and you're making a two thousand quarter per month, that's a lot of money because obviously you're just going to be spending it on air time, okay, clothes, whatever you want, okay. Now the thing is, as of now, I'm staying alone. I need to pay rentals. Not only rentals, I need to pay bills such as internet. So remember, I'm a content creator and all my business is done online. I need internet of about 1,000 kwacho. Rentals, there's food. Again, I need transport. Okay. Moving in Osaka is expensive. Okay. And there's also this to my small bills. So basically, as of now, like, uh, you need about a six thousand. You need about a six thousand to live a better life in Osaka. So in short, you need to be making at least a ten thousand quarter right now in Osaka to actually live a, a life without loans. And I'm happy to announce that so far I don't owe anyone any money, and have I ever brought any money? No. I, I, okay, that's the good thing. So the thing about me is that. I do the stuff than borrow money because I don't like asking from people. Okay, I don't like asking from people and I don't like borrowing. Like, yeah. So, as of now, like in Osaka, I think if you're planning of shifting, start staying alone. Okay, try to work hard. I know that people are surviving on 1,000 quarter salary, but their lives are not good. Okay, like it's really expensive uh, to stay in Osaka and this in other parts of the country so before i end the video what advice can i give let me think let me think let me think okay if you're a forex trader so if you're a forex trader uh you don't need to prove that to anyone that you're 24 x so i don't know a lot of people are changing their names to like john fx peter fx and every day they're busy sharing screenshots of the money they're making, uh, charts. Okay, so the thing is, people who work, they don't share photos while they work, they don't share how much money they're making. But why, as a forex trader, should you share that? Like sharing those pictures showing how much money you're making, it shows as if forex trading is easy. It actually misleads people. So a lot of people think as if forex is a get rich quick scheme and stuff like that, and start making people think as if it's an easy thing to do so trading is one of the hardest things okay it's very hard and yeah it's really bad and i think don't trade forex trying to compete with other people like this is what is happening okay so if you tell someone no i'm a forex trader i want to ask you like how much money do you make do you have a car are you a millionaire so the thing is when it comes to forex trading you have to treat it like a business like you can't just become a millionaire from nowhere unless if you gamble. And what I mean by that is if you trade recklessly, yeah, it's possible you can make a million and lose it the following day. Okay, what other advice can I give? Um, if you want to start forex trading, okay, if you are broke, don't start forex trading. Why am I saying so? Because in your first years, it's not going to be profitable and you're just going to be blowing away your money and you're just going to be getting depressed so before you search forex start another business that will be helping you fund your account whereby when you're trading you're going to be trading with a peace of mind you won't be worrying about if i lose this money uh where am i going to get the money from okay yeah and finally i think i've talked very much to end the video uh the reason why i've I'm, I'm at the level where I am, it's because I am focused, okay, I'm focused on what I do and I do not try to compete with other people. So the thing is, I remember very well where I was seven years ago, like I was a nobody, someone who had zero to their name, okay, 
But as I now I'm happy with whatever I have. Okay. At least I stay alone. Okay, uh, there's no drama in my life. And the thing is I'm an introvert and I'm not really a people person. So I'm always in the house. If if I'm not making content, maybe I'm playing games or watching movies, okay, looking at charts, trading crypto or helping people. And that's it, that's basically my life. Yeah. So bye for now. Um see you next year and watch out for more content. This is Keith. Bye for now.